Hey guys, it's me Charlie. Today I'm doing an update on my Tibetan quails and my Italian golden Caternix. And um, all of these guys were born about two weeks ago, so these guys are two weeks old. And um, I actually needed one to two more of the Italian golden Caternix because I needed a male and two females, but I'm not sure, but I have a feeling that this one might be another female. If it's another female, it's okay. Um, I'll still get some more Caternic eggs, and um, I'll be able to eat them still. And of course, they're not fertile, so you know everybody who has quail eggs sometimes they get ooh, Caternic eggs. Are they fertile? Gross. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. The egg starts out the same, fertile or not. It's still an egg yolk and egg whites. But if it's fertile, you're able to incubate it, and it will turn into a baby chick. So these two here, the darker ones, um, when they were first born, they were the cutest things ever, which I have a video on this, so don't forget to check it out. But these guys, they look like they had mascara and eyeliner, and they were kind of a chocolatey brown with a little red all over their body. Now they've lost a lot of that fuzz, and um, they now have mostly the feathers that are coming through. Um, thank goodness these guys don't have any white on them. I really didn't want any white on them, like a pied. I just wanted a nice solid color. One of them is bigger, which is this one, and the other one's a little bit smaller, which is that one. So I'm really hoping that this is male and female. They came from eBay when I ordered the eggs, and um, there was a large variety of Italians, Fawns, Tibetans, uh, Rosetta, or actually I think that's the same name, not sure. Um, they had Pieds, Tuxedos, and um, these are all related practically, well no, they're related in the species type. They're all Caternix, except they have their own names. Like this isn't the wild colored Caternix, it's the Italian, Golden Italian, which is a new, newer color of the Caternix. Um, the older version, um, I can't remember the proper name, it starts with a CH. Um, you guys will be able to leave a comment down below and let me know. But it starts with CH, and um, that was the older version. And then the original version of the Italian or the Caternix um, is more of a gold, like a brownish golden black color. So the spots are dark black. The golden part is a kind of a brown color. And they're more of a wild looking bird. And um, so I'm hoping that this little female here, if it turns out to be a female, um, will give me some eggs like my other one. And if it's a male, I'll be super happy because I'll have fertile eggs to sell on eBay. The um, Tibetans. Uh, there's no real good way of sexing them when they're young. I'm going to have to try to figure that out and make a video. But um, you can find them out. You can find out what sex they are when they're older because the males have that foam when they're mature and they're ready for breeding. So this is possibly the female Tibetan. And this is possibly the male. And there was a bunch of them in the cage, so most likely these are not related. Um, if they are... I'm not going to be too crazy about that, but then again, I'm not breeding their babies. I'm just going to be selling their eggs off. Um, but most likely they're not related because there was a pen full of Tibetans of all different bloodlines. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> so these guys are feathered up now, and so I'm able to put them in a cage. And um, I'm going to do another video on the... Darth Vader button quails. So I'm going to take these guys out and I'll do a video, uh, video of the Darth Vader button quail so that way you guys can get an idea of what they look like as chicks. And they are about three weeks old. Probably almost three and a half weeks old. So these are my Caternix. I have four in total. These are the three new babies and I have already an adult. She's about four months old, almost five. And um, she's giving me eggs every day. And uh, I wasn't that successful hatching out Caternic quail eggs when I ordered them. I ordered 12 plus, received 15, um, 3 of them were cracked, 12 incubated, and only 3 of these hatched. So it wasn't that successful. And I checked the eggs afterwards to see why they didn't hatch. Um, one was fertile, but the baby died inside, and all the rest of them didn't even incubate. So their eggs were probably too old or maybe sh shaken up too much during the shipment and so they probably didn't do really well. I'm not sure but I'm usually successful with button quills um, when they come from eBay and I'm really successful incubating my own button quill eggs. If I put 10 eggs in I get between 9 and 10 chicks out of it so I'm really happy with that. 
So, if you guys have any questions, comments, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to rate this video. I'd love for you guys to rate the video on the little Tibetans and the Italian <laughs> quail. Just got his little booty bitten. They are the sweetest little calm things. They're not jumpy. They make great pets. The darker ones here are um, made for um, hunting, dog training. Um, they're dark meat and they lay eggs every single day um, as soon as they become mature enough to lay eggs between 12 and 14 hours of daylight. Um, but they're really calm babies. They make really good pets also. So does the Golden Italian. But they weren't meant for dog training. They're a little bit more sitting still, even though they're really wild acting if you keep them in a, an aviary. But when you hand play with one, hand tame one or play with it a lot, they really do make good pets. So I'll see you guys in the next video.